What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about how a lot of people in the community have felt like the new changes that Zoss is implementing for this year's content in ESO is not really a good thing. There's also a lot of people in the community talking about how this could be one of the best years for ESO yet. And I agree if it is handled correctly by Zenimax, this could be a really big year. Now, we kind of have to look at what exactly is going to change. Of course, we know the way the expansions are going to change throughout this year compared to previous years recently is going to be a bit different and even different from what we saw when the game was first released. Of course, we still will get that full feature expansion, uh, which will launch sometime in June. And that will be kind of that big new zone. And Zoss has already said it's going to be a return to larger and better and more detailed chapters. A kind of idea that a lot of people have wanted over over time a lot of people saying they're wanting more from their big chapter you're paying for this chapter year in and year out they want more from it they want it to be a larger more exciting experience better kind of story just all of that you know kind of in general needs to be added back to the game because it was something we had in the past a lot of people talked about how they used to like the split expansion approach um, and having one bigger zone followed by that and a lot of people kind of got tired of that over the years Personally, for me, the way the game was originally, the way we got these smaller zones that seemed to have better storytelling, I kind of like that. And I thought once these large big zones come out every year, we're buying those large big zones. A lot of people kind of started comparing it to how World of Warcraft does their expansions. And I felt like if Zoss really wanted to kind of cash in, I guess you would say, on these big expansions, make sure that everybody out there that's a, 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 an ESO fan, whether they're playing currently or they're going to be a returning player because of this new zone that's coming out, I always felt like if they did more with these zones, had a better storytelling, you know, more to that one zone that comes out every year, to that one thing that you're paying for yearly, I think if there was more to that, I think it would keep people's attention a bit more. I think people would come back and play more. I think people would keep playing and maybe not leave and go play other games. So I think this year they could do a lot uh, with the way they're going to set up this new kind of content idea. Also, with that last kind of bit of content we're going to get at the end of the year, that quarter four content, uh, where they're talking about this new system they will unveil sometime later down the road, I'm not sure if it's going to be the greatest thing we've ever seen in an ESO. I'm hoping it's going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be some new great idea, some new system that's really going to add some replayability for everyone, whether you're a PvE fan or a PvP fan. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Uh, it would be great if this new system added new classes in there, new weapon classes. However, they could design something that all the players have been wanting for a really long time. Some kind of system that's going to update what we have and maybe bring some new things into the game and make the replayability of the game uh, more enjoyable for everyone, whether you're a returning player, whether you're a long-time player, whether you're a brand-new player. I think... There's still a lot of ways that Zoss can improve the game going forward for years to come to keep players coming back and keep players wanting more uh, content down the road. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think this is going to be a great year for ESO, or do you think this could be the year that really hurts ESO, uh, ESO player-wise? Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.